What's up YouTube? This is Dong of Ukulele Warai and today uh, I'm gonna be showing you another uh, useful, short, simple strum pattern uh, combined with a hammer or a pull-off applicable to any chord uh, progression as long as it falls under the same time signature. And if you want some of this uh, handy, uh, shortened and simplified tutorials, uh, please do consider subscribing to my channel uh, for more. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Yo, what's up? So, as usual, we are going to be tuning the ukulele in a standard G, C, E, A tuning, okay? And we're going to be revolving around the chord progression, which is C, F, G, C, back to F. That's it. Are we ready? Let's do it. Here we go. So, I'll show you. So the main technique in there is uh, exploiting or capitalizing on the G string, which is the thinnest, thinnest uh, string by far. So uh, use your thumb and then uh, follow up with the index on the downstroke on the remaining C, E, A string, like this. Okay. The concept here is uh, to let your uh, strumming breathe, so uh, to give time to the, uh, after the downstroke, uh, give it a little bit of time to breathe uh, before you execute the next uh, plucking of the G string, the topmost string, okay? So. Can you notice the uh, time that I am giving for the strum pattern to breathe, okay? So... it with a with a hammer on like this when you're in the F uh, chord okay I hope you're getting it uh, so uh, it falls under, a, I think it's a 4-4 time signature. For as long as it falls under the same time signature, uh, it will be applicable to basically any chord pattern that you can uh, that you want, okay? So, maybe this is the reason why this G string is the thinnest. So, so we could like uh, use it, uh, exploit the, uh, the uh, ringing, it rings, right? 
uh, compared to the other strings since it's the thinnest one and the highest uh, pitch. position my uh, index and my thumb for the strumming hand like this so that uh so all you need is a little bit of a uh, flexibility in there and an open mind and of course uh, you need to enjoy uh, playing the ukulele and the ukulele will love you back okay uh, I hope I was able, uh, I'm clear on that one. Okay, there you go. So uh, basically, we just need to love what we're doing, uh, be flexible, uh, avoid negative uh, stuff, negative ideas, and uh, most especially, negative persons. Uh, avoid the perfectionists as well. Please, uh, when you're starting off uh, playing the ukulele, learning to play the ukulele, it's very inevitable that you're going to be, uh, there's a big chance that you're going to be encountering some uh, problems or uh, uh, a dead end. Uh, so don't entertain those negative stuff and just uh, enjoy what you're doing and push through. And uh, stick to the basics and fundamentals so that you can develop your own style of playing. Okay, I hope I'm clear on that one and until next time. Have a good one.